Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer. Today, Saturday, the 9th of May, 2020, in this Easter season. Let us pray. The Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Blessed you, Lord God of our salvation, to you be praise and glory for ever, as once you ransomed your people from Egypt and led them to freedom in the promised land, so now you have delivered from the dominion of darkness and brought us to the kingdom of your risen Son. May we, the first fruits of your new creation, rejoice in this new day you have made and praise you for your mighty acts. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us. So let us celebrate the feast, not with the old leaven of corruption and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Christ, once raised from the dead, dies no more. Death has no more dominion over him. In dying, he died to sin once for all. In living, he lives to God. See yourselves, therefore, as dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Christ has been raised from the dead the first fruits of those who sleep. For as by man came death, by man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 34. O taste and see that the Lord is gracious. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be forever in my mouth. My soul shall glory in the Lord. Let the humble hear and be glad. O magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Look upon him and be radiant and your faces shall not be ashamed. The poor soul cried and the Lord heard me and saved me from all my troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. O taste and see that the Lord is gracious. Blessed is the one who trusts in him. Fear the Lord, all you his holy ones. For those who fear him lack nothing. Lions may lack and suffer hunger. But those who seek the Lord lack nothing that is good. Come, my children, and listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Who is there who delights in life? and longs for days to enjoy good things. Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from lying words. Turn from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous and his ears are open to their cry. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil to root out the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry of the Lord hears them and delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and will save those who are crushed in spirit. Many are the troubles of the righteous. From them all will the Lord deliver them. He keeps all their bones so that not one of them is broken, but evil shall slay the wicked and those who hate the righteous will be condemned. The Lord ransoms the life of his servants and will condemn none who seek refuge in him. O taste and see that the Lord is gracious. Send your holy angels to watch over us, O God, that on our lips will be found your truth and in our hearts your love, so that we may ever taste your goodness in the land of the living through Jesus Christ our Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the book of Exodus, chapter 40, reading from verse 17 to the end. In the first month in the second year, on the first day of the month, the tabernacle was set up. Moses set up the tabernacle, he laid its bases and set up its frames, and put in its poles and raised up its pillars, and he spread the tent over the tabernacle, and put the covering of the tent over it, as the Lord had commanded Moses. He took the covenant and put it into the ark, and put the poles on the ark, and set the mercy seat above the ark, and he brought the ark into the tabernacle, and set up the curtain for screening, and screened the ark of the covenant, as the Lord had commanded Moses. He put the table in the tent of meeting, on the north side of the tabernacle outside the curtain, and set the bread in order on it before the Lord, as the Lord had commanded Moses. He put the lampstand in the meat tent of meeting opposite the table on the south side of the tabernacle, and set up the lamps before the Lord, as the Lord had commanded Moses. He put the golden altar, as the Lord had commanded Moses. He put the golden altar in the tent of meeting before the curtain, and offered fragrant incense on it, as the Lord had commanded Moses. He also put in place a screen for the entrance of the tabernacle. He set the altar of burnt offering at the entrance of the tabernacle of the tent of meeting and offered on it the burnt offering and the grain offering as the Lord had commanded Moses. He set the basin between the tent of meeting and the altar and put water in it for washing for which Moses and Aaron and his sons washed their hands and their feet. When they went into the tent of meeting and when they approached the altar, they washed as the Lord commanded Moses. He set up the court around the tabernacle and the altar and put up the screen at the gate of the court. So Moses finished the work. Then the cloud covered the tent of meeting and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. Moses was not able to enter the tent of meeting because the cloud settled upon it and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. Whenever the cloud was taken up from the tabernacle, the Israelites would set out on each stage of their journey. But if the cloud was not taken up, then they did not set out until that day until it was taken up. For the cloud of the Lord was on the tabernacle by day, and fire was in the cloud by night, before the eyes of the house of Israel at each stage of their journey. Here ends the first reading. The canticle is the song of Moses and Miriam. In your unfailing o lo love, O Lord, you lead the people whom you have redeemed. Alleluia. I will sing to the Lord who has triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider he has thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my song, and has become my salvation. This is my God whom I will praise. The God of my forebears whom I will exalt. The Lord is a warrior. The Lord is his name. Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in power. Your right hand, O Lord, shatters the enemy. At the blast of your nostrils, the sea covered them. They sank as lead in the mighty waters. In your unfailing love, O Lord, you lead the people whom you have redeemed, and by your invincible strength, you will guide them but to your holy dwelling. You will bring them in and plant them, O Lord, in the sanctuary which your hands have established. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. In your unfailing love, O Lord, you lead the people whom you have redeemed. Alleluia. <clears throat> the second reading is taken from the Gospel according to Luke, chapter 4, reading from verse 31 to verse 37. He went down to Capernaum, a city in Galilee, and was teaching them on the Sabbath. They were astounded at his teaching because he spoke with authority. In the synagogue there was a man who had a spirit of an unclean demon, and he cried out with a loud voice, Let us alone. What have you to do with us, Lord Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. But Jesus rebuked them, saying, Be silent and come out of him. When the demon had thrown himself before him, before them, he came out with a he came out of him without having done him any harm. They were all amazed and kept saying to one another, 
What kind of utterance is this? For with authority and power he commands the unclean spirits, and out they come. And a report about him began to reach every place in the region. The Responsory Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your sting? Christ is risen from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. Death is swallowed up in victory. The trumpet will sound and the dead shall be raised. Where, O oh death, is your sting? We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your sting? The Benedictus. The Lord is risen from the tomb, who for our sakes hung upon the tree. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour. Born of the house of his servant David, through his holy prophets he promised of old, to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors, and to remember his holy covenant. This is the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life, and you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High. For you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins, in the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The Lord is risen from the tomb, who for our sake hung upon the tree. Alleluia. We now have our prayers of intercession. In response to my words, Lord, hear us, can you please reply, Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for this day and its tasks. Lord, at the moment, one day seems to merge into another with very little differentiation because of the lockdown. But again, we pray that you would help us to live creatively within the constraints under which we work. We pray, Lord, again, that you would help us to take this time to deepen our relationships with our loved ones and to consider what ultimately matters. And also, Lord, to do well the work that you have given us to do, whether in the house or in our jobs or in our relationships. May this be a time of reconnection and putting down deeper roots. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray, Lord, for the world and its needs and Lord, there is no doubt that the economic consequences of this lockdown are going to be tremendous with high levels of unemployment and many businesses faltering and going out of business. We pray, Lord, that you would help us to so organise our collective life that nobody would be left stranded or flailing, but that we would work create a more just and more humane society where we live in harmony with each other and with the earth within which you situated us. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray, Lord, for the church and her life. We pray for our own community of St John Baptist Berkswell that you would help us to grow closer as a community, even though we can't meet physically, and that you would help us to be as imaginative as we can be, both in the way that we put services together 
but also in the ways that we maintain contact with each other. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray, Lord, for those who are sick in body, mind or spirit, praying that by the power of your Holy Spirit you would enter them and heal them of all that oppresses them. And in a moment's silence we commend those people known particularly to us. We pray for those recently bereaved, lifting in particular Eunice Pike, Helen Hope, Caroline Varney, and Pam Kelly, and the family and friends of John Waitley. We also pray, Lord, for Paul and Virginia Childs, Child, and also for Amanda Child, as we commemorate the death of Nicola. May all those recently bereaved and those who commemorate rest in peace and rise in glory. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. The Collect of the Day. Almighty God, whose Son Jesus Christ is the resurrection and the life, Raise us who trust in, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, from the death of sin to the life of righteousness, that we may seek those things which are above, where he reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation, as our Saviour taught us, so we play. pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia.